today I'm going to talk to you about TOG ratings. TOG ratings are the thermal overall grade for textiles, so typically clothes. I'm going to refer to TOG ratings in this video for sleep sacks. Sleep sacks are an amazing product that you put on your child when they go to sleep. It is like a little sleeping bag that's attached to them, usually with a zipper, sometimes with some snaps, and it stays on them all night long so that they're warm enough to sleep through the night. Tog is a unit of measurement to measure how warm the textile product is. So typically, the higher the rating, the warmer the product. So I have lots of questions that come to me about a summer sleep sack or a winter sleep sack. And typically what this means is a summer sleep sack would be a lower tog rating and a winter sleep sack would be a higher tog rating because your house would typically be colder. That being said, if you run AC all summer and your house is pretty, pretty much the same temperature year round, you don't necessarily need to change out your child's sleep sack. So there's a lot of confusion about this thinking that we need to only get thin sleep sacks in the summer, but some people keep their house pretty chilly. I know we do because my husband works nights, so he sleeps during the day sometimes. So we keep our house at a pretty even 20 degrees. So that way it's the same in the winter, it's being heated to 20 and in the summer it's being cooled down to 20. So I'm going to talk to you about what exactly these TOG ratings are and what your child needs to wear underneath their sleep sack in order to still stay warm. So let's start off small. A TOG rating of 0.5 or less is for a temperature of about 24 to 27 degrees. This is tropical. You are hot in your house, things are very steamy, and your child can be in a t-shirt underneath this sleep sack. A t-shirt and a diaper. If you're worried about the li their little arms getting cold, you could put a long sleeve on them, but I would not put full pajamas on. They will be way too sweaty, way too warm. Another option for sleeping in this warm of temperature is actually just putting them in a diaper in their sleep sack. I never like to recommend just putting babies in a diaper or just in a long sleeve shirt and then putting them to bed because it's rare that we would go to bed without even a sheet on us or without a blanket on us, depending like regardless of the temperature. So always put something on your baby. I always recommend a sleep sack. Um, get the thinnest one possible if your house is this hot, but leave the sleep sack on and undress the clothes is if necessary. The next TOG rating is one, 1. 1.0. This is good anywhere from 20 to 24 degrees. So some babies do actually run warm. So a TOG rating of one might be good for some babies in the winter because they are still, eh, they're still, they run warm at night and the house is regulated. That being said, um, some babies also run cold. So a TOG rating of 1.0 is not adequate for a winter month for them. So if you, cool your house down to below 20 degrees celsius in the summer then a tog rating of 1.0 is not good enough for you you need a tog rating of a little bit higher underneath this tog rating i would recommend wearing a long sleeve shirt you could put some footed jammies on make sure they are not fleece they can just be thin cotton ones and in a sleep sack your feet don't have to be covered you can cover them if you can cover your child's feet if you want that's just personal preference the next step up is a TOG 1.5. So a TOG 1.5 is good anywhere from like 20, 20 degrees to 18 degrees. So we're getting a little bit cooler. Sometimes 21 degrees is fine. Um, typically the TOG 1.5 sleep sacks that I carry are a little fleecy. So they're designed for winter months, but you could still use them in the summer if your house is cold. The next rating is 2.0. 2.0 TOG is good anywhere from 17 to 20 degrees. So we're only inching down by degrees here. So a TOG 2.0, great for cold homes, great for winter months, also great for summer camping. So if you're sleeping in a tent or if you're sleeping in a trailer that doesn't have heat and the temperature dips down at night, a TOG rating of 2.0 could be perfect for you. The next degree level is a TOG 2.5.
a TOG 2.5 is the biggest seller in the winter and I'm not sure why. Our homes are not this cold in the winter. We have heat. A TOG 2.5 is good anywhere from 16 to about 19 degrees. So your house is pretty chilly if it's at 16. I know overnight we we'll usually keep our homes a little bit cooler than we would in the daytime so that also makes sense but underneath this TOG 2.5 I want your child in footed jammies unless your house is on the warmer side of the scale. Then you could get away with a long sleeve shirt um, and the diaper, but maybe you could leave the pants out because it's usually a thicker sleep sack. There is such thing as a TOG 3.5, which is anywhere below 16 degrees. So this is if you're doing like spring camping and it's very cold at night. This acts as like a sleeping bag for your child. Um, it's rare to have sleep sacks with arms that are on. So if you're sleeping in a place where it's cold enough that it's below 16 degrees Celsius, I want you to be putting like a very long sleeve on your child, a thick one, maybe a quilted one, um, and definitely have them in PJs because you are in a cold climate. Keep that baby warm. When we have our child in a sleep sack, they do not require a blanket on top of them. This is a huge misconception, but the sleep sack acts as the blanket. Their arms uncovered, although still wearing pajamas, are fine. They will not be too cold. Some parents are worried about their little hands being cold, and that is okay. Cold hands are fine. Um, once they're older, they'll learn how to keep their hands warm. And the only thing we're really looking for is to make sure that their tummies aren't cold. If we do a diaper change in the middle of the night or feeding and we realize their tummy is cold, that means they are cold. And we need to dress them up a little bit more. So if you're concerned about them being cold, check out their tummy. If they're still warm, then they're totally fine. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Uh, my own son sleeps in a TOG 1.5. We keep our house around 20 and he loves it. He loves his little fuzzy dino sleep sack. We do have a thinner one for when it's warm in the day. Um, and I also have a thicker one for winter months. So it's good to have variety and it's also good to have one or two of each TOG rating that you typically use in case there's an accident or they pee through their diaper and then you have your spare right on backup and you don't need to be doing immediate laundry. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to my channel.